In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a line that goes through a certain point and that has a certain slope. So here's an example of a question which asks us to draw a line with a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 3. So the first thing to do is to remember that a y-intercept of 3, that's where the line will hit the y-axis. So that's going to have the coordinates, it'll be this point here. So the x value will be 0 and the y value will be 3. Okay, so if you want to draw this line, the first thing to do once you is to start with the point that you know. Okay, uh, you can't really draw a line with a certain slope until you have one point from it. Now we've got a slope of negative two, and remember our slope is rise over run. So if your slope isn't a fraction. The first thing you can always do is just make it into 1 by calling it, instead of negative 2, it'll be negative 2 over 1. So that means we want to rise negative 2 and then do a run of 1 every time. So I'll start at our, we'll start at the point that we know, and we'll rise negative 2, so that means we'll go down 2, and then we'll do a run of 1, so that means we'll go to the right 1. So we'll go through that point. And we can do it again, a rise of negative 2, and a run of 1, and we go through that point. It's kind of nice to do it until you get to the edge of your graph. Now, an interesting thing to note is that we could also write negative 2 as we can write it as 2 over negative 1, because we can have the negative sign in a fraction on the top or the bottom, and it doesn't matter. Just whichever you prefer. So in this case, that would mean that we do start at the, the, the beginning again, we do a rise of 2, which would go up 2, and then a run of negative 1, which would go to the left. And if we look at that, that makes perfect sense. It's the same thing. It gives us a different point, but those are all in the line there. Okay, then we'll just uh, crease my line through there. We should probably show here how much we're going up by every time. Okay, so here's a line with a y-intercept of 3, so that's the point zero, 3, and a slope of negative 1. This makes sense because we know that negative slopes go in that direction. Okay, so for another example... Suppose I wanted to draw a line with a slope of negative two-thirds that passes through the point one, four. Okay. So before we start, we can make a note that, again, a negative slope would be kind of like this. It should go in that direction, uh, up as it goes left. Okay, so we'll start with the point. Last time we knew the y-intercept here, we just know a random point. So the point one, four, so x value is one, and the y value is 4. Now our slope is negative 2 thirds. So our rise will, is negative 2. So that means starting from our given point, we'll go down 2, and then we'll do a run of 3. 1, 2, get ourselves to that point there. Okay, and we could continue, but we'll be off the, off the paper. If we did it in the other order, if we did, said that our negative two-thirds was two over negative three. Which is totally fair to do. We go up two, and then we do a run of negative three. One, two, three. So this is slightly worse, just only because it puts us off the edge of the paper. But sometimes one will be more convenient for that reason. It fits on the page, and the other one will be less convenient. Okay, so we'll connect these. And there's the line. All right, thanks.